Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com. Today we're doing a tune-up and in this part of the tune-up videos I will be showing you how to change your spark plugs. But first check out my website bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so to change your spark plugs you'll need a few essential items. First thing you'll need is the spark plugs themselves. Um, you'll also need a spark plug gapper and you'll need a wrench with a socket that will fit your spark plugs. Um, this is a wrench that's specifically made for spark plugs. It's just a hand wrench, but you can also use a socket wrench as well. I like to use this because it's simple. And for the socket, they, they do make special sockets for spark plugs uh, in which they have a little rubber um, grommet down inside which will hold the spark plug as you pull it up. Now if you don't have a socket specially made for that, you can find a little piece of rubber um, hose and cut it and shove it down inside there. What you want is for that spark plug to stick inside there when you hold it upside down. In which case this one doesn't, so I need to get a piece of rubber and put it in there. Alright, so here's what I'm talking about. This uh, piece of hose right here you can see holds the spark plug. And so what I'll do is I'll just cut a piece of that off and stick it down inside there. Now it doesn't wedge down in there like I'd hoped, but uh, I'll just take some electrical tape and put it around there until it does. Now this is uh, something that you don't have to have. This just makes it a little bit easier, but if you don't have that uh, to hold it in there, don't worry about it. Another trick you can use to get the spark plugs out is either a magnet you can uh, reach down there with your hands if possible or you can just stick the uh, hose down in there and grab onto it and pull the spark plug out. There we go. Now it holds in there even when it's upside down. Like I said, if you can't get it to work like that, don't worry about it. Alright, so we're working on a Jeep Cherokee here and lucky for us, the spark plugs are easy to find. You just follow, uh, you find the distributor here and you follow the spark plug wires into the engine block and there you'll find your spark plugs under the wires. Now some newer uh, cars are a little bit harder to find the spark plugs. Um, they don't have distributors, they probably have some coil packs and sometimes the spark plugs can be hidden uh, under a whole bunch of plastic pieces um, under the engine compartment. But just keep in mind that going into your engine block somewhere are going to be spark plugs and on a V6 or a straight 6 as in this Jeep there's going to be 6 spark plugs on a V8 you're going to have 8 spark plugs um, typically on either side this one just is a straight 6 so it has them all 6 on this one side and then on a 4 banger you're going to have obviously 4 spark plugs alright so typically I like to change my spark plugs one at a time the reason being is that all of the wires have to go back in the same spot and if you do them all at the same time all these wires will be disconnected at once and you're probably not going to get them back together just right so what I typically do is just pull one wire pull the spark plug change it and then put it back all you're going to do is put your wrench on there and then twist it out Usually I'll start on one side and work my way across, but uh, for uh, showing you guys, this is the only one that I can get the camera to, so I'm just going to start with this one. And there's where our little rubber piece came in handy, because it pulled the spark plug out with it. Alright, so before you go and put the new spark plug in, you'll need to gap it. If it looks like this and just has the one prong, uh, you'll need to gap it before you put it back in. If you've got some fancy spark plugs that have um, two or three or four prongs, usually they're pre-gapped. But uh, in this case it's not, so you take your gapper. You want to find out what the recommended gap is for your vehicle. In this case it's 35 thousandths. And there's a little sliding scale. As you can see, it gets larger as it goes around the scale. On here, you'll find 35 thousandths, and you'll put it in right there. And that will open it up to 35 thousandths. Now, if it was bigger, 
then you would just take it and hammer it down like this which would close it up and then you can open it back up to 35 thousandths. Let me show you what that looks like if you need to close it up. You just tap it down a little bit. Oops, I did it too hard. And then you'll just open it back up with your gapper. Alright, so now your new spark plug is ready to go back in. If you'd like to, you can put some anti-seize on there. And if you can, I like to start these by hand. Uh, sometimes that's not possible. But what you want to make sure of is that you don't cross thread these in there. So you want to be very careful when you go to put them back in that you just apply a little pressure. I can tell that's already starting to thread. And now I can use my tool to get it in the rest of the way. If you can't start it by hand, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you don't get this thing in there sideways and just start cranking it down in there crooked. Now once you get it tight, you're just going to turn it a little more until it's snug. And that's it. One down, five to go. But before you move on, make sure to put the spark plug wire back on. Uh, some, a lot of times I like to use dielectric grease. What that does is just uh, is a grease that conducts electricity. And so you put that on, and you push this in until you can hear it snap. Give it a little pull back to make sure it's on there. And now we can move on to the other five. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. It really is that simple to change spark plugs. Make sure you stay tuned for our other tune-up videos as well. Don't forget to check out the website, bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road wins and fails of YouTube in one spot, none of the boring stuff. And do subscribe. We'll see you next time.